supplements, intra workout, PM supplements, uh, spread throughout the day depending, and then literally based on need. So let's go through why I'm actually taking these in my specific dosage. Remember, I have done tons of blood work. I know exactly what works, what doesn't work, what I need. This is not what you need. It's not, trust me. So, Tutka. I don't take it for my liver. I take it because of its ability to fold proteins properly. It does a lot of cool things with the kidney, and I would really kind of use this for the choline as well. Um, so this is mainly the protein folding supplement that I like to have. So we have that, so again, cell functioning is very important. Vitamin D3, I take 10,000 IUs per day. Obviously, everyone is very vitamin D3 deficient or vitamin D deficient, so we correct that deficiency with supplementation, sun exposure, all that good stuff. Vitamin plus, all of your basic vitamins, minerals, and there's a couple other um, cool blends in here that I actually really like, especially the mushroom complex. But essentially, getting in your base vitamins, whenever you're taking in PEDs, you need more vitamins, more minerals. Minerals are happening at the receptor level. You need those cofactors there to cause those receptors to be upregulated. So that's literally split one cap upon waking and then one before bed. And in reality, it's really with one cap, meal one, and the other cap with my last meal for the day. Super K, um, unless if you're eating weird things like beef liver and crap that I'm never gonna eat, um, you're gonna be vitamin K deficient. Not only that, but it does a, it's a major um, preventative on the arthrosclerosis side of things. So the actual plaque buildup and hardening of arteries. Whenever I got my heart cat done, whenever we had all that cardiac crap going earlier this year, um, we saw that there was zero plaque buildup in my arteries, like literally nothing to be seen. Not that you should see that at my age, but still it's good to know that uh, this is kind of doing its job there. So that's why I take out uh, basically in the morning, now we go to the intro workout stack. This is very, very simple right now. I have one scoop of Minotaur intro workout, so the actual ability to drive anti catabolic cascades. I have two scoops of Raging Full intro workout, so actually driving up more anti catabolic cascades, driving my ability to be in a very hyper insulinemic, hyper amino acidemic environment, and driving intro workout recovery as a whole and performance. And then we have a scoop of MA Pump. I switched between this and Nitrox, but I've been liking this flavor combination because this is the purple punch, that's the purple punch, and this is black cherry lemonade. It tastes really good. Actually, when Andy was up here, we combined this all together and he had the same thing. So really good flavor and I love the amount of recovery I get from this stack. This is all used in combination with insulin. So that's one of the major reasons why these are all in here as well. I do have growth hormone in play as well, so that needs to be understood. Some of the biggest people at the top of the sports need to take an interwalk nutrition purely because of their insulin usage. So don't let anyone try and sell you on, oh, you have to buy this. Intra workout nutrition is beneficial for naturals. It's beneficial for enhanced athletes, but it can be blown out of proportion sometimes. And the more drugs, the different time drugs you use may require intra workout nutrition, depending on how fancy you're getting with things. But no matter what, anyone can benefit from intra workout nutrition. Clear across the board, is it specifically needed for you? Maybe, maybe not for me, definitely is. Now we have PM supplements, liver plus. So this is literally your liver and kidney product as a whole. Um, so working on a cellular level, working on an actual ability to move fat from your actual liver, does some really cool things. Help all of the big name ingredients that everyone knows, milk thistle, NAC, all that kind of good stuff. And all of these different leaves and root extracts have a lot of other benefits cardiac wise and the overall good health supplement. Citrus bergamot. You guys know that my lipid panel is terrible. So I am currently taking actually three capsules of this right before bed, which totals 1.5 grams of actual citrus bergamot. That is way much more than anyone else needs, but I have had a genetically poor lipid panel and I'm determined to get my HDL above 30 um, for a prolonged period of time, which for some people that may be normal, but for me, I've never seen an HDL above 30. I think one time I had a score above there, but it was way too long ago. And even when I was natural, I was still in the 20s. So really driving that home with that. And bergamot has a lot of other cardiovascular, a lot of other carbohydrate, and a lot of other lipid interactions on the positive side of things. So positively partitioning glucose, positively um, actually partitioning lipids, things like that. But that's a conversation for another day. Zinc and magnesium. I take four capsules of this per day. And again, this is literally to hit my zinc and magnesium needs. A little bit of GABA in there as well, so obviously helps with sleep, but mainly zinc and magnesium. Again, at the receptor level, androgen receptors need a lot of different things. Insulin receptors need a bunch of different things. Zinc is one of those things that you need there to be present. Magnesium is the other. Again, when you're looking at basic, basic minerals to be in place, basic ions to be in place. They, that's why a lot of these supplements are the way they are, because when you're enhanced, you're upregulating your receptors, you're upregulating your whole body. So you need to basically give your body what it actually needs to stay upregulated, essentially. Heart Plus, 
big fan of Heart Plus. It has a lot of curcumin in there. Let's see if I can zoom in on there. The curcumin C3 complex of 400 milligrams. That's a lot of active curcuminoids. 380 milligrams of active curcuminoids is massive. Once again, since I have a terrible lipid panel, I want to make sure my cardiac health is up to par. So we have olive leaf extract, ubiquinol, and a couple other goodies in there. But this is mainly for cardiovascular health as a whole. This is, I think, Project 80's most expensive ingredient for a good reason. Take care of your heart, guys. That's a very important one. And if I had to take maybe only one supplement from Project 80, I might just take that, to be honest. But remember, that's my situation. Now we move into placed at random times throughout the day. So this is split morning and night. Um, I have found out through blood work that krill oil, fish oil does not do very much for my actual lipid panel. It does a little bit, so I need a little bit in there, but mega dosing it, doing um, different forms of krill oil, doing different forms of everything has done nothing additional than a couple points on my HDL, which isn't nothing. So I only do two capsules of this upon waking and two capsules upon this before bed. Again, in reality, that's my first and last meal of the day. Um, but again, your essential fatty acids do a lot more things than just your cardiovascular health. So obviously you want to make sure you get those in. Um, that adjust. This is literally from Mike Arnold. Well, this is from Mike Arnold's company, but I literally only take it because of what's in there. This is not for my actual appetite. This is not for digestion. Look, there is ginger. Look what else is there. Coriander, artichoke. Like, there's all these little herbs and spices and things that have been used in Ayurvedic medicine for hundreds of years. I literally take this as an overall health supplement aid. I don't take it for digestion. It's nice to be in there. So I had two caps upon waking and two caps before bed, again, with my last meal of the day, just because of the health benefits of those ingredients. I don't like adding them to my actual food, so I can take it in capsule form. Astragalus, this is split two caps upon waking, two caps before bed. Again, same thing, first meal of the day, last meal of the day, mainly to manage and actually to, um, you know, drive EGFR values up higher, drive up kidney health, drive up kidney rejuvenation on a cellular level. And this is really the big heavy hitter when it comes to actual kidney health. So again, I take two caps or four capsules total per day. Um, the biggest thing in there is the actual super astragalus. But then you have the things like the cordyceps and other things that are gonna play a very big role in here as well. Um, then we have, and these two are very, um, uh, I'll just say synergistic, even though that's not really a good way to use it. Um, over here, your basic greens and reds. Again, I don't, I'm eating a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables per day, at least three to five servings of each. I still do not believe that I'm getting enough. So I like to cover all my bases with, you know, this actual product. And if you look at it, how many times am I going to be eating kelp? How many times am I going to be eating organic parsley? How many, you know, how much pomegranate am I actually going to be having? So that's literally just to cover your bases. Again, you should, if you're an adult, you should be eating fruits and vegetables. If you're an athlete, you should probably be taking your greens and reds powder, no matter how many fruits and vegetables you're actually eating. Fiber Plus, I think this is the most mislabeled product from Project AD. It should be called Gut Health or Gut Plus or whatever, because when you look at it, I mainly use this for clients and myself for the actual probiotic blend. So this actually provides the feeding material for your entire gut flora, gut bacteria. There is some actual fiber in there, but at the end of the day, I really actually like this for that actual probiotic blend. Again, this is kind of mid-road probiotic. If you look at some of those pharmaceutical level probiotics, they're almost, well, they are so expensive, and those really high expensive ones, even though they are very, very beneficial, it's almost overkill. So this is what I call a mid-tier probiotic, whereas um, there's a couple lower tier ones out there as well, but it's all based on your need. If you don't have gut issues, if you just wanna make sure that your flora and gut bacteria are, we'll say somewhat, you know, staying in a good position while you're burning yourself with all the calories, you're gonna to wanna to stick with this. That's actually why I use it. There's other products out there that are, again, better probiotics technically on paper, but I don't need it. So I don't need to spend the money for it. But if I did, I would go with those, but I don't. So that's usually a good basis if your nutrition's covered, just to make sure everything is going in the right direction. Now, these are the, you know, um, you know situational products. So first we have three different things right here. We have an actual food altering drug. So literally manages glucose, lipids and nitrogen metabolism in a way that no other glucose disposal agent, quote unquote, on the market does. This literally alters your food. It is a food altering drug for a specific reason. Shout out to Andrew Triana for that name. This is an actual ergogenic aid, so more on the P450 or CYP450 side of things, um, but really an ergogenic aid, so this should be taken around training. And then we have an actual insulin secretagogue. You can actually manage pancreatic beta cell health and causes the release of your own insulin from your pancreatic beta cells. So depending on the time of day, I will use these things differently. Right now, for my purposes, I am having this post-workout. I am having this actually at the end of the day. I'm actually taking it 
you know, not the way it was intended to be taken, but because of the ingredients in there actually like pairing Max Uptake with Matador at night to drive restoration very much. And then I'll take Matador, like I said, with this at night, and then as well as during the day. And you can hear, I only got one capsule in there because I'm almost out. So that is situationally dependent. We have Calming Cacao, which is the newest product from Project AD, which again, whenever you are having a stressful day, this literally is just there to help calm you down, to get you a little more parasympathetic. And on days that I'm extremely busy, I've been having this midday. Um, the actual magnesium, the chamomile, the valerian root, the reishi mushroom. It's a really cool new product. Tastes really good. Not essential, but I freaking love it. Unless if you are, you, you have a lot of anxiety, you can't meditate. This can be a very good product to get you down into a very parasympathetic state. Immune Plus. Um, again, we all know what's going on in the world today, so I don't really have to explain that. But when I'm feeling very run down or come weekends, since I'm working out Monday through Friday, I will take this to bolster up immunity and to drive recovery and systemic restoration. So I usually only dose this on Friday nights, Saturdays, and potentially only on Sundays. But again, it depends. Ashwagandha placed right here with my common cacao, depending on how busy of a day, how stressful of a day that I've had. There's a lot of cool things as an adaptogen, but really we're looking at this being the stress and anxiety. Even though I don't have a lot of stress and anxiety, days getting busy, I can aid my neurology by implementing those. And then same kind of thing as with the Immune Plus, on Fridays, I start my recovery. Saturdays, I initiate or I keep pushing recovery. And maybe Sundays, I don't even need this, but that's whenever I will push more curcuminoids and push my ability to recover and to bring down systemic inflammation because that hypertrophic, that hypertrophic, that's the right word, inflammation has already run its course. So as you see, that's why these are very situationally dependent. And that is all that I'm taking right now. And I say all, but that's actually a lot of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, keep this in contest. This is what I need. My lifestyle, I can easily afford this. I get a lot of this stuff free. That's me. That may not be you. So, and if you want anything, obviously, from Project AD, my code is BFR25. If you want anything from True Nutrition, my code is AXK5. And if you want anything from MASUPS.com, my code is Alex15. So shameless plug for all this crap. If you guys want to pay for it, um, Life Extension will never sponsor us so don't really care though um but yeah that's pretty much everything guys and again i choose these brands because i know the people behind the products i know mike arnold i know joe binley i know andrew triana i actually don't know the people over at life extension but you get the idea i only like high quality products and that's why i've chosen these ones so that's where i'm at guys and again make it very situationally dependent on what you actually need